This book is a window into the past, dedicated to the courage and sacrifice of my friends and fellow countrymen. Together, we flew the skies during some of the darkest and most innovative days in history, the Great War and the dawn of aviation. Those years of flying and fighting taught me everything, that every decision matters, that the road to freedom sometimes takes you through hell, and that only by facing our fears do we truly discover what we're made of. My story isn't unique, and I'm no more of a hero than any other pilot who suited up to defend king and country. I wasn't the best, and I wasn't the worst, but I was there flying with the greats over the front lines. In life, there are many defining moments. The first time I laid eyes on an airplane, I was barely 15. It was at the first air show in Toronto back in 1910. Right then and there, I knew I would fly, but I had no idea where it would take me. In late 1915, I saw a newspaper advertisement for the Royal Naval Air Service. They were looking for pilots. This was my chance. I enrolled at the Curtis Flying School in Toronto, which was the only one around at the time. There weren't many spots available, so I was lucky to even get in. Flying was everything I dreamed it would be. You can't imagine the freedom up there. It had been barely a decade since the very first flight, and here we were, a bunch of rowdy young boys with the sky as our playground. It didn't take me long to get my wings. There wasn't much to the requirements back then taking off and landing. That was pretty much it. As soon as I could, I joined the Royal Naval Air Service, or RNAS, the Navy's flying arm. At the time, the RNAS was taking more Canadian recruits than the Royal Flying Corps, or RFC, which supported the Army. A few weeks later, I was off to England, and I hoped, off to war. By the time I got to England, it was the summer of 1916. Western Front was a shambles. Hundreds of thousands had died on both sides during the Battle of the Somme, and there was no end in sight. I wasn't thrilled to find myself assigned to a training squadron at East Church. I had my wings and seven and a half hours of flying, for crying out loud. I considered myself as prepared as anyone to fight the war. Of course, that wasn't the case at all. Thank God I wasn't sent over to Europe right away. Probably would have bought it on my very first mission. <laughs> 